Oh, we're live. How's it going, everyone? Welcome back to another Pokemon card live stream. We're on my main channel. How's it going, people from my main channel? <laughs> uh, normally, we play Monster Hunter World on my main channel, but did you guys know I actually have a second channel where I open up cards? And I thought for fun I would cross-promote my second channel tonight by streaming from my main channel. So we're just doing this for fun. We've been having a lot of success on the other channel, and I haven't done this in a long time, actually, so I thought it would be fun to do this. Oh, hey, Metalax is here. So we might have a live stream here on the main channel, and then we might actually jump over to the second channel later. Good thing I fell asleep. What? Something's off. How's it going, Wellix? <laughs> Wellix isn't a mod anymore. He's, he's on the main channel. <laughs> By the way, this was not my card. It arrived in the mail. This is Metalax's card. How's it going, Emma? Don't worry, Metalax. This rubs right off the uh, the marker. <clears throat> Show off the Snorlax. Which one? The one that he... Uh, oh, oh, the... Um, where did I put that Snorlax? Did I put it over here? So this, this Snorlax? <laughs> How's it going, Ario? Main channel action, that's right. Do you have good in real life RNG? That's a great question. I mean, I would say I, I do. It didn't start out very lucky, but later in life I got luckier. <laughs> when did they add Pokemon cards in Monster Hunter? I know, right? So do you guys want to see me open up an entire booster back oh booster back booster box of cards? You can see it's sealed. This is like what they would put at a card store. And you would buy like one or two packs from it. So tonight, though, I'm going to open up the whole thing for you guys. Place this to the side. Let's get the seal off of here. <laughs> Wellix says my wallet is weak. Wellix went crazy yesterday night. He bought so many cards. One of the things we like to do in the card streams is you can purchase some cards alongside me. So Wellix was wiping me out. Well, you went through, like, at least a booster box, I think, by yourself. <laughs> Your card shipped out this morning. Mailman actually picked them up. When the stream's not Monster Hunter, I know. Well, I'm waiting for, like, uh, Iceborne PC to launch, and we're one day away. And honestly, there's not a lot to do on the console, right? Safa Poopy is out of here. So I would like to stream PC, but there's like some rules about what I can stream uh, because my version of the game's already updated. So I'm just kind of waiting for it to launch tomorrow. And then we'll be streaming Iceborne PC again, so don't worry about that. Uh, this won't be a regular thing. I do this very rarely on the main channel. Here we go. He'll be back in two weeks anyways. So I want to do this a little differently. I'm going to pull all 36 packs out ahead of time. Damn, that's a lot of Pokemon card packs. And I'm actually going to cut them all open. So this will just take a minute, but it's going to make pulling the cards much easier. Don says, wait, why Pokemon? Don, because I collect a lot of Pokemon cards. I'm a married adult man, and I collect Pokemon cards. What do you think of that? We're back. <laughs> We're lagging out there for some reason. You should get a small guillotine to open the cards, says Arson. That's a clever idea. I should get a small guillotine to execute the cards we don't like. We'll scream, Revolution! Alright, there we go. So... These. There's a Capcom card game called Tepin. Interesting. So here we are. We got this is half the booster back. Oh, booster back. I said it again. Booster box, and it is opened already. Let's go ahead and get these cards out. So normally you guys get all the pulls. Now it's my turn to have some pulls. What do you think of that? I did a lot of cards for you guys. Reverse Hollow Ghastly and Holographic Arcanine. And I will sort these out onto my piles over here on the side. 
pack number two. There's a Monster Hunter card game? What? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Reverse Hollow, reverse hollow Miss Magus and Sand Slash. She's a rare. He's a non hollow rare. Pokemon Direct tomorrow. Oh, interesting. I wonder what they'll be talking about. Maybe how awful their new game is? Did you know I actually bought some Nintendo stock? I'm hoping that they fixed the new Pokemon Sword and Shield to be more satisfying for their fan base. And I think if they did that, uh, it would actually be good. Overall, their, their sales for the game are already fantastic. But I think that, you know, it will help keep the game selling, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Pokemon gun. <laughs> Put this over here. This is a non-hollow. They're going to take more of the decks away in the next DLC for balancing sake. <laughs> How's it going, Oz? He says, why not stream on your other channel? We will, actually. After this, I think we'll go to the other channel. Golbat, Goldeen, Ratatab, Venonat, Tangela, Ghastly, Martial Arts Dojo. Here we go. All right, so we move this here. So this is a full art. Looks like it might be off center. You can tell because this top part looks too large. Right, it is off center. So it's got a large blue bar up here and a thin blue bar down here. So it's an off off center cut. That means I probably won't send this off for grading. He has a nice looking card though. Zorark and Greninja. Sweet. not a common problem for all the cards in here, is it? Nope. Unfortunately, it looks like it's a problem just for that particular card. <laughs> Naturally. Also, I got a ping for a privated video earlier. Oh, are you talking about the... Um, so there was a video that I just released earlier today, and I turned it private because it had spoilers in it. Unfortunately, the editor had spoilers in it, and... It's really meant to be for players who are about to purchase the game, Iceborne PC. I, when I saw the comment section and they were like, there's spoilers in here. I, I was like, oh man, we gotta make this private. Yeah, and I told the editor, I was like, hey man. <laughs> uh, well, the thing is, I think I even mentioned in the commentary that <clears throat> it's a spoiler free video because in the comment section, they're like, you claim it's spoiler free, but it's not. Oh, damn, I got the same card twice. I've already got one of these. <laughs> Let's see how it's cut. Okay, so the cutting is actually better on this one. I might send this one off to be graded then. Here we go, guys. Look at this. So this is called a secret rare, and secret rare is the best card you can pull, basically. I have 10 shiny shadowless Charizard for sale. Metalax wants to see his chubby Snorlax. Oh, sure. Why don't we show, show that off? Chubby Snorlax. Where is he? Here he is. <laughs> chubby Snorlax. I'll sell it to you for 10 bucks. <laughs> so do you play in real life or just collect? Well, my wife and I have played a few matches against each other for fun. Uh, and she really enjoyed learning how to play. Uh, but mostly I do this financially. So I, I purchase the cards and then uh, I have them graded and then I probably sell the graded version of the card. So it's kind of, it's a little bit like gambling. You know, it's a little bit like gambling. It's, it's fun though, I like it. You get cards that you like to collect and you hold on to them. All right, let's keep going. This next pack. Giovanni's Exile, Mulane, Pokegear, Sandshrew, Aeron, Tentacool, Reverse Hollow Pikachu, and Kingler. One, two, three, four. Flip this around. Whoops. Eradicate, Janine. Uh-oh, Boomer Oak. 
He goes in the Boomer Oak Pile, Clefairy, Litten, Carvana, Ekans, Kani, Reverse Hollow, Daramaka, and Volcanion. Volcanion is actually used in the competitive decks, is what I understand. I wonder if I should save him. Nah, just put him in the rare pile. Shred the fairy. What? Nah, we're not shredding the fairy. So I tell you guys what, since we're having fun over here, we'll make this just like a stream would be on my main channel. If you guys want to participate in the fun, oof, if you guys are interested in participating in the fun, you're welcome to buy some cards yourself in the middle of the live stream. We have Unified Minds, Celestial Storm, and Unbroken Bonds. So you can purchase in any of these sets. There's five booster packs each. 20 bucks plus three dollars for shipping use the streamlabs link to make the purchase do not use super chat super chat takes your money 30 percent of it sadly i think it's 30. also if we're going to do that i'm going to need something where is it hmm would i have saved it up here hmm, i don't see it oh what music is this Hyperlight Drifter. All right, that's fine. That's not over there. Where did I save this? Oops, knocking my cards over. I bought some. I bought some of these. Some of these guys right here. And I should have another set of them somewhere. Oh my God, guys, I just have too much crap. <laughs> oh, it's lost somewhere. I should have a whole nother set of them. Oh, did I hide it under my desk? I bet I put it under my desk. That sounds like what I would do. Oh no. Oh no. I do not even see these. I have no clue where I put them. Oh my God. All right, well, I tell you what, we'll just get back. <laughs> we'll just get back to opening up this booster box. Let's see where it goes. <laughs> Move this back up here. Let's mark it back up here. No problem. Maybe we'll use those Ziploc bags again until I can find the proper. Is it over there? Where did I put it? Ah, oh, well. Who cares? I care, that's who. I know I placed it somewhere. So here we go, next pack. Oops, looks like I already had a booster pack open. So we got Whooper, Oop. place this here. Murkrow's a reverse hollow, stun fist, non hollow rare, get rid of this. And this is going to be Reverse Hollow Tentacool and Rare Duck Trio. Get rid of this. Right, and there's our commons and commons. Yeah, weird. I should have more of these PSA holders, uh, the, the plastic baggies, but I don't know where I stuffed them. I probably set them down on like a counter or something like that, not even thinking about it. Thinking to myself, oh, I won't need these for a while. One, two, three, four. Charger Bug, Energy Spinner. Look, Energy Spinner, it looks like a fidget spinner. There's no way they did that on accident. Metal X says, open my booster. Oh, I'm sorry. Did you make a payment? Did you make a payment? My laptop didn't make any noise. Oh, are you talking about the Elite Booster Box? You're talking about the Elite Booster Box. We'll get to the Elite, bo elite Booster Box, okay? Let me do these first. Why did the name Aria sound familiar? familiar because it's Arya and Emma. Arya and Emma. So we have War Turtle, Rhydon, Frogadier, Rhyhorn, Murkrow, Pikachu, Togepi, Ghastly, Reverse, reverse Hollow Malamar, and non hollow Genesect. Wait, Malamar's rare. There we go. Oops. I only noticed this is his main channel because Emma is sponsored green name. Yeah, what the heck, Emma? Dodrio, Porygon, Boomer Oak! Oh, Boomer Oak's got it in. He's in trouble. Ryolu, Alolan Diglett, and Holographic Stack Attack Up. Boop. Boop. 
I'm Yu-Gi-Oh! and Magic the Gathering fan. Oh, nice. Those are also card games. They like Team Rocket, prepare for trouble. <laughs> Gliscor, Hitmon on top, Beast, Bringer, Pikachu, Togepi, Ghastly, Growlithe, Glim, yeah, Reverse Hollow, Carvana, and Non Hollow, Gengar. That's a rare. Move him over there. All right, we got just the three packs left. One, two, three, four. Lieutenant Surge's strategy. Litten, Geodude, Grubbin, Reverse Hollow, Laron, and Non Hollow, Agron. Wow, that's kind of cool. I work in four hours, but I went to sleep so I could see the stream. That's so clever. What happened to the 10 tips for new players? I removed it because it had spoilers in it. It'll come back out. It'll come back out when the game launches, I've decided. Because it does have spoilers in it. That Laron would match my hollow aggron. You want him? You can have him. I'll send him to you. One, two, three, four. I actually still have one pack of yours. So, uh, because it wouldn't fit in that box. So I have to ship that out to you. Nice. Lucario and Mel Metal again. <laughs> this game definitely wants me to own this card. Or this uh, Pokemon card company definitely wants me to own this card. Let's see. Wellix, do I not have a pack of yours off to the side? Here it is. So this was the pack that didn't fit. Let's open that back up for you. Yeah, this pack didn't fit. You're, you're getting the lair on now. There you go, man. Congrats. <laughs> huh, weird. Where could it have gone? I'm still looking around for those PSA holders, but I get a feeling I'm not going to find them without taking my mic off and walking around. All right, so a ton of commons and uncommons, and I'll sell these off in bulk. This is about $3.50, that's what this is. Speaking of bulk, um, Arya and Emma wanted some bulk, right? Was that right? What did you guys buy? It was, uh, you guys bought 200 uncommon common, uh, I think that's what you guys bought. Let's do a quick count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. So this is 50 cards. And these were 10 cents each for you guys. And now what we're going to do, we're just going to create a duplicate stack of about the same height. So this one's a little taller than this one. So you probably get a little more than 100. And do we have enough? Ooh, I don't think we have enough. Oops, come on now. So those are uncommon commons. Let's create a uh, stack of the rares, the hollow rares. All right, we'll finish finish this off. This is this is probably approximately 300 cards, okay? So that's what we agreed on, about 300. So these are for you guys. Oops, come on now. This is something I've been wanting to test. I want to see if I can actually... For obvious reasons, I don't want to count every card. Uh, but if I if it ends up being less than 100 and you guys did count it, totally just let me know. Pretty sure it'll be over 100. Where'd my tape go? Where did my tape go? Ah, it's on the, damn it. <laughs> it's on the damn bench behind me. All right, give me a moment. God damn it. Oh, there's too many Pokemon cards. They're everywhere. <laughs> Thank you. 
Oof. Why are there so many cards? Send help, guys. Give me a give me an episode of TLC Burgers. Hi, how's it going, Ryu? Why does everyone ask for a face reveal? You guys couldn't handle me. Too beautiful. So let's see. I did this last time with the Ziploc baggies. Let's see if this is better with paper. I feel like the baggies were better, actually, to be honest. Yeah, the baggies were better than this. That's kind of messy. Maybe you cut the paper in half. Maybe that does it. Alright. That's 100. This is, again, this is for Emily and, and uh, Aria. I think this will work actually. So we cut this in half. All right, here's another hundred. Oh, this is much better. That was perfect. This isn't quite origami. This is more like uh, Christmas wrapping. It's like wrapping a present. It's like I'm wrapping a little Christmas present for Emma and Aria. And it's full of Pokemon cards. Oh, this is so much better. Look at that. This would fit right into a uh, right into a a box for packing. Perfect. Yeah, see, much nicer. One more. Would you ship ship cards to Ireland? I certainly would. Um, however, it will cost a little more to ship it to Ireland. So it could cost a about fourteen dollars even. So if you're really into Pokemon cards, uh, you might instead just purchase them locally. However, if you really want me to open them on a live stream or ship them out to Ireland, I certainly can. International shipping's just so expensive, unfortunately. Uh, I shipped to a guy in Spain though, and I think it was only six dollars. So. How's it going, Shadow Gaming? Make sure these are all appropriate. Oh, yes. Perfect. How much are the card packs? How's it going, Ran Misiel? Just like the other night, they're still uh, $23. For, or, yeah, $23 for five. It's $20 for five and $3 for shipping. All right, there you go. So this is the bulk you guys bought. Place my tape over here. There it is. It's quite heavy, actually. So you just took all of my uh, holographic rares and reverse hollow rares. I'll set that to the side for you. Well, actually, we could probably just leave them in the background, to be honest, for fun. So Rand Misiel, we still have these. Uh, Celestial Storm, we, we opened these for the first time yesterday. Unified Minds, and Unbroken Bonds, which is what I've been opening. Place these over here. All right, and these are what we pulled, by the way. 
Lucario and Melmetal, this is the GX. So this, this version of the card is not as valuable as this version. This is the most valuable version of the card, for those of you who are unfamiliar. It's actually got texture on it. Yeah, it's hard to... Yeah, so if you get real close, you can see that the card is textured. And then we have this other textured card, Greninja and Zoroark Alternative Art. We'll place that on top of my pile of very nice cards. I have a huge pile of cards waiting to be shipped off to be graded. I expect some loot art on those when I open them up. What? Blue's Tactic, we got him yesterday night. Scyther. Yep, we got all kinds of cards in here. Giovanni. Lunala, that's a nice one. We gave one of those away. Look at that shiny Mew. How much in Pokemon cards do you have? Ooh, that's a good question. Uh, you know, there's how much the card is worth versus how much I actually paid for them. So some, some cards, I did not pay too much for them. And now they've probably shifted in price and I've actually made some money on them. Oh, oof. So probably one of the clearest examples right now is this booster box. So this booster box, it cost me $2,400. However, it sells now for $4,500. So when I go to sell it, which I'm not going to sell it yet, I'll probably make like $2,000 on it. So for those of you who have never seen this before, this is the beautiful shredder that was provided to us by Wellix. Thank you, Wellix. And this is where the bad cards go to die. Uh, for example, still on death row, we have liberal, liberal arts major Plumeria here. You can see she's very bitter. She's very mad that you don't want to pay for her college degree. And we like to take these cards and shred them up. Why don't we go ahead and take a card we've been saving. This is Boomer Oak. Boomer Oak's a particular kind of person. He's, he's older and there's nothing wrong with being older, to be honest. But he's a particular kind of older person. He spent all of his money. He voted for all kinds of hands out, handouts. He bankrupted the country, and now he wants even more handouts. That's who, that's who Boomer Oak is. Thanks, Boomer Oak, for making everything expensive and putting us into horrible debt by voting for politicians who can't stop spending money. Ah, yeah. This is how we get rid of cards that we don't like. <laughs> it's the shredder. <laughs> ah, yes. He's out of here. You can see we've had a few card sacrifices already. <laughs> We're going to devise some new ways to get rid of cards, but we haven't reached that point yet. Just I'm so busy. <laughs> but one of the things I want to do in the future... Why give them away? What? what I, one of the things I want to do in the future is actually, like, set the cards on fire and have them, like, burn off, basically. <laughs> I'm a little worried, though, about fumes being released into my home, so I'm legit worried about that, thinking about my health. Man, where are the PSA card holders? I just do not know where they went. Just put them in a sink trash compactor. The Pokemon card concentration camps. Well, we're not going to get that extreme. <laughs> Whoa! Destroy Boomer Oak. Give me Janine. Uh, thanks, Rand Missiel. What do you actually want? Do you do you actually want? Uh, so it looked like you purchased two packs. Could you tell me what what that was going toward? I was about to open some hidden fates. Were you looking for unbroken bonds? So we got unbroken bonds one and unbroken bonds two. And where'd my scissors go? All right, we got one, two, three. So this is not for me, this is for Ran Misiel. He just purchased some cards live and now I'm gonna open them up for him live. And we'll see if he gets any cool pulls. Are Pokemon cards playable or they are just for collecting? They're playable. 
there's a tournament that gets hosted where you can win like $25,000 or something like that. Yeah, Nintendo hosts the tournament themselves. It's pretty fascinating if you've never watched it. Okay, here we go. Wish him luck, everyone. He's got 10 packs. We did just make a sacrifice to the Pokey Gods. We sent Samson Oak back to its creators. Tentacruel, Metal Core Barrier, Hapini, Venonat, Lickitung, Spritzy, Poliwag, Dodowo, Reverse Hollow Rhyhorn, and Holographic Vileplume. That's pack number one. Pack number two. One, two, three, four. Come on now. Power Plant, Koga's Trap, Togetic, Diglett, Glam Meow, Salandit, Mischievous, Oddish, Reverse Hollow Beast Bringer, and Non Hollow Seeking. The tournament where the top have cheated two years in a row. Whoa, what do you mean by that? I've never heard of that. They cheated? Do go on. Tyrogue, Fairy Charm Ability, Togepi, Ghastly, Growlithe, Me Glam Meow, Mischievous, Reverse Hollow Aeron, and Non Hollow Dugtrio. Whoops. We go live to Ryo on the matter of such gravity. What? Koga's Trap, Metapod, Devolution Spray, Gligar. That's Gligar, yeah. Clefairy, Litten, Carvana. Reverse Hollow Butterfree and Non Hollow Sand Slash. Ooh, these are some rough pulls, man. Last year, the second place guy cheated by stacking his one Lunala at the beginning of his deck while shuffling. What? Was there evidence for that? Oh, I think I saw something shiny. Cross your fingers. Tentacruel, Venonat, Lickitung, Spritzy, Poliwag, Doduo, Spritzy. <laughs> Whimsicott GX returns. Whoa, we pulled a lot of these. I don't know what the deal is. We pulled two of those yesterday. All right, so that was like the first five packs, and it came with the Whimsicott GX. And where are these? Oh, right. So I cannot find my PSA holders. I know I have them, but in the meantime, we'll have to use these Ziplocs. I hate it, but we'll have to. The Ziplocs don't look as fancy, that's all. They, they work effectively the same way. So here you go, Rand. Stacked his deck. Jesus Christ, man. Whimsicott strikes again. That's right. God, I wish I just knew where those holders were because I, I bought multiples of them specifically for this live stream. All right, here we go. Stack number two. Pack number one, one, two, three, four. Flip this around. Oh man, I see another shiny something back there as well. Graveler, Crocker Rock, Fairy Charm, Ekans, Poly Swag, Clefairy, Caterpie, Inke, Reverse Hollow Hitmon. Oh my god, you've got to be kidding me. Another Whimsicott right off the bat, dude. <laughs> oh, here we are. Don't worry, guys. I haven't I haven't progressed in the live stream at all. We're back. Um, you know what? I was sent like a week ago, a brand new router and a brand new, uh, what's it called? It's not called a server, is it? Uh, yeah, I have a brand new router and server to install and I haven't done that and I need to do that. So uh, tonight with the live stream being a bit laggy, it's really obvious I need to do that. I don't know why, because yesterday was pretty good, wasn't it? It was pretty good yesterday. Here we go. This is pack number two. So that was his first pack he pulled a GX. Maybe he could get another one or a uh, full art in the next four packs. Nice. Reverse Hollow Mew and Venomoth. Oops, that goes in the same stack. <laughs> have you checked if they have 6 IV? <laughs> you got a 6 IV Whimsicott. <laughs> Secretly pulled a Zard while stream was lagging. I know, right? I have a lag switch. It's all, it's all part of my sleight of hand. <laughs> Reverse Hollow Goldine and Miss Magus. Fans saying lag again. Is it? How's the stream looking? Is the stream looking okay? We, we can slow down until the stream's looking all right. Look at that Whimsicott. He's so happy. Fine for you, huh? Okay. Okay. 
Yeah, I don't know what the deal is. It's, it's done that twice now, and uh, it's a little concerning because we have 20 mega Mbps upload speed, I should say. And uh, yeah, I don't know. They literally doubled my upload speed, so I'm thinking it's probably the hardware, not the not the actual. I mean, unless their internet just sucks at night. Last pack, what will we see? Man, what was the odd of pulling two Whimsicots? Power Plant, Beast Brain, it had to be really low odds. Porygon, Ryolu, Cubone, Growlithe, Rhyhorn, Reverse Hollow Weezing, and Non Hollow Perugly. Perugly stole, stole your good pull, man. Look at that. She's like, you can't get a full art, you're getting me, and you're going to deal with it. Perugly, she's like, she's like, you know, when you were a chubby chaser and you went after the big girl, but then years later, she's become morbidly obese. She hasn't really taken care of herself. And now she's impatiently waiting for her cheesy fries. That's what Perugly is. She's like, where's my cheesy fries? She can't even get up off of the couch. It's like physically impossible for her to get off the couch. She literally can't. Hey, Ren, if GE sees that I want to trade for Aaron, I will trade with the cards he has of mine. Oh, he wants your Aaron? I don't know if Rand's particularly hooked on the Aaron. Let's see. That's Laron. I can understand you wanting to have three of a kind. Not thick, just fat. Yeah, there's a difference. I think morbid obesity is, uh, I get the whole like body positive stuff. I actually really get that, but it's like, when you become morbidly obese, it's time for you to start working out a little bit, take care of yourself, make sure you don't die young. You know what I mean? But not per ugly. Per ugly is like, frick all you guys. Give me my cheesy fries. Cheesy fry. Must have been in this bag. Perugly doesn't care about any of that. You think Perugly cares about that? Perugly doesn't give two flips about how you think. Oh, there we go. There's the Aaron. Um, so I've stolen your Aaron, Ren Misiel, for, for Wellix. I don't know if you really badly want it. Let me know if you do. Oliver says, I feel sorry for bedbound people, too late for them. I don't think it's too late for them, actually. I think they still have time. I don't think it's too late for them. I'll take any reverse hollow he has. Sounds good. So he has this lair on. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, what? I thought he did have something. Oh, okay, here we go. Reverse hollow salandit going into your bag right now. And he is grabbing this air on now. All right. Huh. There's some lucky trades for you, Wellix. Aeron and Laron and Agron. Did I miss anything good? Um, no, not really. We just pulled two Whimsicots. That's pretty cool. <laughs> two Whimsicott GXs in a row, actually, somehow. And we're, we're back to using the Ziploc bags because... I did buy a bunch of PSA sleeves, but I don't know where I, I put them. I put them somewhere, and now we need them, and I don't know where to find them at. So this is for Ran. Ran, I have to say, uh, you never see it too bad of pulls, and for both of those sets, you did pull GXs. So there you go, Ran. For those of you wanting to participate in the stream, we have... These Pokemon booster packs for sale, you get five booster packs. It's $20 for the five of them, and then you pay $3 shipping. You use the Streamlabs to make a payment, okay? Streamlabs, not Super Chat. Streamlabs. So we have Celestial Storm, we have Unified Minds, and we also have this right here, Unbroken Bonds. So we have all the booster packs. Does it randomly lag? It's randomly lagging. Uh, let me see if there's something I can turn off. I could, di well, I can't disconnect my laptop, actually. No, there's not really anything I can turn off. I don't know why I would have trouble tonight. Random lag, yes, but refresh helps. Might be my internet is on and off every now and then lagging sucks. Yeah, I don't know what the deal is. Yeah, so if you guys want to participate in the live stream, you're certainly welcome to. I open up the cards and then I ship them off to you guys. This is for Emma and Aria right here. They bought all these. It's quite a bit. They bought some bulk hollows and reverse hollow commons and uncommons. Try to get this out here. Here we go. 
So this is a Hidden Fates tin. I believe it's my last Hidden Fates tin. Just give me Celestial Storm. I need an <laughs> Give me Celestial Storm. Here we go with the Celestial Storm. Good luck, Rand Missiel. I'm rooting tooting for you. One. Two. Hey, Game Economist, when I get a job, expect all your dark ghosts and fire types you don't want to be gone and in my possession. Would you say that you're... Open the $2,000 tin. Whoa! Not buying, just oh, thank you very much, Emma. How kind of you. Emma made a $5 donation. All right. One, two, three, four. Here we go. We've got TV Reporter. Dunsparce. Oh, we got some Dunsparce fans. Last Chance Potion. It looks like an alcoholic beverage. Slugma. Larvitar. Whismer. Bellsprout. Looking very sprouty. Wilmer. What is Wilmer? Look at him. He's actually the appropriate size. Look at him next to that building. <laughs> Reverse Hollow Cartana and Non Hollow Bonnet. Is that bonnet holding lipstick with a little mirror down there? What? That's kind of creepy. <laughs> Whalemer eat you up. <laughs> Apparently. Okay, here we go. We got Psychic Energy. Lombre, Lantern, Switch, Surskit, Sneasel, Shuppet, Mudkip, Beldum, Reverse Hollow Electrite, Electrike, and Minectric. It's pretty funny that you got them side by side. All right, next pull. One, two, three, four. We have Hustle Belt, Bull Beat, Combuscum, Combuscum, Cacnea, Mudkip, Slugma, Beldum, Larvitar, and Reverse Hollow Kecleon with Medicam. Man, look at those parachute pants on Medicam. All right, we got two packs left. One pack can change the whole pulls. One, two, three, four. We have Minum, Tate and Lisa, Cacturn, Whalmer again, Bellsprout, Chinchow, Meditite, Spoink, Reverse Hollow Deoxys, and Delmise. Whew, those are some cold packs. Let's see what the last pack is. One, two, three, four. That's four, right? Yep. Super Scoop, Weeping Bell. Friend Ball, Surskit, Slugma, Larvitar, Whismur, Bellsprout, Reverse Hollow Gulpin, and Non Hollow Manectric. So those, the whole pack was cold. Ren, I'm going to give you an extra pack because that was rough. You're getting the bonus pack. All right, here's Ren's bonus pack. Wish him luck, everyone. I do not do this for everyone. All right. And in fact, Rand, that was not a cold pack, so you might have something in there. But we don't know that yet. We'll have to see. Tate and Lisa, Bill's Maintenance, Cacturn, Trico. Trico again. He's got two arts in this set. Whismer. Whismer has two arts in this set. Voltor, Slugma, Reverse Hollow Cacnea, and Holographic Ludicolo. Sorry about that, Rand. I tried to help. I tried. It just wasn't enough. Some rough pulls from the Celestial Storm set. <laughs> Rand goes, F. I even gave you the bonus pack, Rand. Don't know what to tell you on that one. All right. So Rand's pulls have been cold packs and then two Whimsicott GXs. Hmm. So we get these set aside. And it's a six. That's five. We still have unified minds. Here, you guys take a look at that for a minute. I'm going to stand up and see if I can locate those PSA things. I'll be back in just like 30 seconds or something. Because we got the we got the Ziplocs. The Ziplocs just don't look as good, to be honest, right? All right. Let's see if I can see them if I stand up properly. I know something fell back here. Why can't it fell back here? Oh, those are card holders. You guys do not want to see this room. 
It would give some of you post-traumatic stress disorder if you could see this room right now. I can't walk anywhere. It's like something straight out of a episode of Hoarders. So I don't clean it, I just go back to work. Did I leave over here, perhaps? I don't know what happened to him. Couldn't tell you guys. Weird. They should be right here. <laughs> now I can't see them while standing, so I don't know what happened to him. No, I wouldn't be under that. Oh my crazy man. Well, here's an extra holder, anyways. I know it's in here, I just don't know where. Oh, that's too bad. <sighs> we'll have to use the Ziploc bags. We'll have to use the Ziploc bags till I can figure out what the hell I did with them. Freaking Ziploc bags. Whoa! Don't forget that Manalax bought the Elite Booster Box. Oh, thank you. Yeah, let's get that uh, Elite Booster Box open for Metalox. Alright. Metalax, 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 Metalax. Get these moved over here. Ryu gonna get mad that you forgot. <laughs> Not everyone knows what you're referencing. They weren't there for that. So this is for Metalax. He drop shipped it to me. And he wanted to share the pulls with you guys. So you guys should thank Metalax for letting you see his pulls. You ready, Metalax? Are you excited? I'm excited. Okay, so we're probably going to reassemble this the exact same way. In fact, maybe I should keep the plastic. I don't know. Actually, do you want all of this? Do you need the little book? I feel like the book's not that valuable. So first of all, he gets the stained glass GX, right? There's a full art, Moltres Aptos Articuno. Sealed too, which is interesting. Uh, this could contain a Charizard, we don't know yet. Oh, look at this. That's actually ripped. What? That's not right. Dude, that's ripped already. Okay. Maybe it's just a factory printing thing. Let's give it a shot. I've never seen that before. It, it doesn't... Uh, you know, it doesn't seem like it's somebody trying to hide that they've already opened the packs because if that was the case, they would have done a better job hiding it. So I think that might be a factory de defect. That's probably a factory defect. Let's take a look at the rest of these, though, just to be sure. Yeah, everything about them seems fine. I think it's just the one. Huh. Crazy. Okay, well, let's get the tops off of these. Is it a bad omen? I don't even know. Just count the cards. <laughs> Scam economist. You're right. Let's count the cards. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So there's eleven cards in here. And uh, this is a Psyduck. Yeah, you got shiny Wimpod and Pinsir. I don't think it was. I think it's just a defect. Sorry, I got rid of your energy. So let's go ahead and set this down. I think it was just a defect. OK, 
Okay, here's a pincer. I'm actually running out of these. I should steal yours and, and put them in there. All right, that was pack number one. So let's go ahead and get the top sliced off of all these. One. I'm going to do it real carefully as usual because we don't want to actually cut any of the cards. Yeah, Wimpod's like a silverfish or something, right? <laughs> I think I was having a dream that I killed a silverfish on my wall. One more pincer means one less Charizard. <laughs> ah, freaking pincer. Shred the pincer for the Pokey Gods. Shred them! Pincer is bad in bed. It's pretty harsh. All right, there we go. All pincer must be shred. That's right, you guys sh shredded a pincer earlier. Okay, here we go. He should have seven more of these, I believe, right? One, two, three, four. Five, oh, maybe more. Wait a second. How many of these does he have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, so you get ten of them in a in a elite booster box or whatever it's called. It is ten. Okay, put that there. One, two, three, four. Here we go. Suggestive Sabrina, Head Nurse, Scyther, Cubone, Eevee, Clefairy, Psyduck, Ekans, Reverse Hollow Coughing, and Holographic Brock's Training. Pack number two. Is 10 for a subset? Oh, interesting. Magmar, Farfetch'd, Brock's Pewter City Gym, Coughing, Paris, Cubone, Voltorb, Geodude, Reverse Hollow Vaporeon, and Non Hollow Jolteon. Pack number three. Hope you didn't pay too much for this. I think these Elite Trainer boxes got really expensive, didn't they? Pretty sure they did. Magmar, Metapod, Misty, Cerulean City, Gym, Caterpie, Paris, Charmander, Clefairy, Slowpoke, Reverse Hollow Fairy Energy, and Non Hollow Mew. Next pack. One, two, three, four. Once again, everyone should be thanking Metalax for letting us open his cards. This is a lot of fun. We get to see what his pulls are live. Nice, shiny Altaria, and Pinsir again! Oh no, that's not good. Pinsir GX, and he's like, shred him! <laughs> shred the Pinsir! We'll save him there for a minute, actually. Why is Altaria dragon type? Because uh, they needed more dragon types. One, two, three, four. So the Altaria actually is a good pull, by the way. Brock's Grit. Let's fi fix this pile of commons and commons now. Farfetch'd getting a little too comfortable with that leak. He's got a look on his face like, ooh, you and I are going to have fun later. Coughing, Cubone, Reverse Hollow Brox, Pewter City Gym, and Weezing. So we haven't seen a full art yet, and I would bet you there's a full art in one of these four. Pray to the Poke Gods that it is Charizard. If you get a Charizard, don't forget to send him off to be graded. All right, here we go. Giovanni's Exile, Lieutenant Surge's Strategy, Koga's Trap, Staryu, Ekans, whoops, Eevee, Pikachu, Clefairy. Nice, you got Shiny Matang and non hollow Arbok. So the Shiny Matang, similar to the Altaria, is actually a decent pull. I gotta say, though, when they reprinted Hidden Fates, that kind of damaged the value of these cards, I would say. Yeah, reprinting Hidden Fates kind of made me sad. For everyone who already owned Hidden Fates, your cards became less valuable. It basically works the same way as Inflation. Psyduck, Reverse Hollow Psychic Energy, and Mewtwo GX. All right, you're getting a lot of GXs. Two packs left. Still room for a nice full art. Hopefully one of these packs is going to have it. Remember, one pack can change everything. Here we go, we've got Brock's Grit, Misty's Bending Over, Metapod, Jigglypuff, Caterpie, Paris, Psyduck, Charmander, Reverse Hollow Magmar, and Jolteon. Oh, last pack, dude. I'm shaking in my boots for you, are you ready? Last pack, three, four. Don't be stingy on us, Pokemon. 
Metal Axe goes rip. Koga's Trap, Charmander, Magikarp, Slowpoke, Clefairy, Coughing. Ah, Reverse Hollow Clefable, and Non Hollow Mew. Rip! Dude, you didn't get a single full art out of that whole set. Jesus Christ. That's actually pretty rough. So your pulls were Mewtwo GX, Shiny Matang, which is not bad. He's a textured card, right? Similar to Shiny Altaria, which is also a textured card. Pinsir GX, Wimpod, Shiny Wimpod, and Pinsir GX. So you did get the full art Moltres Aptos Articuno. Yeah, that's pretty rough, I have to say. I think we all kind of know it. I think we all kind of know it. Let me grab you a little Ziploc bag. Here you go, Sonny. I got your peanut butter and jelly. Here, let me put your peanut butter and jelly in here. In this here Ziploc bag. What voice am I doing? Just throw in Snorlax. This is probably your best pull right here. All right, Snorlax is in. Whoop. All right, grab this guy over here. I can't remember. Is Metalax one of the people who takes the codes? I can't remember if he takes codes. Okay, you don't take codes. All right, that's for Metal Axe. Where can I place this? Oh, you're not done buying. Okay, here we go. Storm, Celestial Storm. Rand Maciel is going to get mad if you pull something. Rand's going to be like, that should have been mine. Here we go. Wish him luck, everyone. He's going for a Celestial Storm. The best pull is going to be Rayquaza, followed by Rainbow Energy. All right. I need, like, some casino sounds or casino lights. <laughs> You're not supposed to see that. One, two, three, four. Flip this around. Oh my god. Pelipper, Soul Rock. I saw something shiny back there, guys. Torchic, Whismer. Ran, were you one pack away? Okay, it's Mr. Mime GX, Ran. <laughs> Ran, if it was gonna be a secret rare, I was gonna I was gonna cry with you, Ran. But Mr. Mime GX, still respectable. Some people are big fans of Mr. Mime. I didn't know that. I thought Mr. Mime was just kind of this goofy, goofy Pokemon, but who is this? Minure? What the hell? I've never seen this one. Volbeat, Torchic, that one's new to me. Yeah. Tinchao, Gulpin, Cacnea, Reverse Hollow Spinarak, and Non Hollow Regirock. Wow, he's so non hollow. I feel like PSA is worse than frickin' DMV, lol, and that's saying something. Oh, by the way, I've been waiting to ship you this card because I knew you had that Elite Trainer box. Check this out. Metalax right now, he's like the Mr. Mime. Uh, look at this. You just pulled Mr. Mime GX, but that's the same thing you pulled from the Jungle Pack. <laughs> You're all mimed out, Metal Axe. Oh, no. We got you all the Mr. Mimes. <laughs> he goes, no. <laughs> no, Sky Pillar, <laughs> Torkoal. You've been cursed by Mr. Mime, Skitty, Spinarak, Bagon, uh, Bag on alternative art, Weeping Bell, and non hollow Sceptile. <laughs> Oops. When your favorite Pokemon is Mr. Mime. I like the way you think, Oliver. I hate what you just said, Oliver. What are you guys talking about? Here's that Dunsparce, Torchic, Shuppet. Shuppet with the tongue out, huh? Shuppet's winking too. He's like, You want the tongue? I'll give you the tongue. Whismur, Registeel, and Whale Lord. What? How many heavy jungles? Sam, I believe, is about to purchase another one. He just asked for a total. I don't know if he paid there, though. Here it is. This Rainbow Energy, when you get the full art version of it, that's the second rarest card in the set. Or not the second rarest, but the second most valuable. Look at... God damn it. Look at this Slackoth. He's showing off his booty. 
Reverse Hollow Bag On, you got actually two GXs in your pulls. That's pretty good, I would say, at that point. You got Bonnet GX. Whew. That last pack was a save. Bonnet looking kind of creepy. All right. Pink Booty Congalala, something like that. So we're going to remove this. And we are going to place these inside. We're going to use another Ziploc. Actually, we don't need another Ziploc. What we can do here, we can open up this Bagon. Is Bagon? What? What are you talking about? Oh, Bagon. I've been calling him Bagon. You're saying it's Bagon? I'm from Indonesia. Hello, Ramada from Indonesia. Hold on, place these in afterwards. Why are opening cards on your gaming channel? I don't know, why not? Because uh, I, I wanted to do a little cross promotion, that's why, to answer your question, to be, more, to be more serious and not just mess with you. How many jungle heavies do you have left? I was thinking of buying them. Let me show you how many I have left in one moment. Now, let me point out that the Snorlax has not been pulled. So this is going into your box. The Snorlax has in fact not been pulled. And there are five left, and I believe Sam is buying one. Let me see. Let me see if Sam paid, because it's possible Sam paid. Sam does not use the uh, stream Streamlabs. He uses direct payments on PayPal. Let me just check and see if he's paid yet. He's probably asleep. Yeah, he's asleep. So Sam has not paid. You can wait and see what Sam gets if you want. Pokemon is the main channel now. <laughs> How many Celestial Storm left? Uh, it looks like there's about uh, 10 of them left, roughly. Yeah, it looks like there's about 10 of them left. I ordered some more. They were actually pretty popular with you guys. So I ordered some more Celestial Storm. And um, there's five of these left. For those of you who are watching this right now who don't appreciate what this is, these, <clears throat> these are 20 years old. Actually, are they older than 20? These are 20-year-old 20 booster packs. See, when the game came out, they made the base set, and then they made Jungle and Fossil. So... This was basically the second set of Pokemon cards ever made. They were made a long time ago. And there's a limited number of these in the world. And then once they're all open, they're just gone. And that's it. Does it actually say when it was made? It's very old. Made in the U.S does give a date. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I'll buy your entire stock back. What? Yes, this, these are vintage. So these are $78, these packs here. These are $78. They're quite expensive. They're called heavy packs because they're guaranteed to give out a holographic card. They've been weighed. These packs over here, let's show these off real fast. These have also been weighed and these are called light packs. So light packs mean, means that there's no holographic card in them. And people will still buy these. The reason they buy them is because they want to collect the, the art on them. So you see the Flareon, Scyther, and, and Wigglytuff. You would buy these and you would just hold on to them. You wouldn't open them. You wouldn't open them. You would leave them sealed. And then if your friend wants to hold a sealed jungle booster pack, you can hand it off to your friend. And he would be like, oh, damn. Celestial Storm. Let's do it. Celestial Storm. Oh, how much did he buy? Did he buy one or two? Masvaro buying one of them. All right, good luck, Masvaro. One, two, three, four, five. Oops. And then there's five left. <clears throat> Put this lid back on. So this is for Metalax. 
Just dip into your trust fund, Metal Axe. It'll be so easy. If we only all had trust funds. I want to leave a trust fund for my kids someday. My imaginary kids that I don't currently have. I'm going to go get my wife pregnant. Oh, she's ready. Uh, women wait longer. In modern societies, women wait longer to have children these days, don't they? In the past, is like, oh, you're 15? Time to have 12 children. That would have been our history. That would have been the past. Nowadays, we're like, oh, you're 30? Time to have one child. <laughs> Do you think it's possible to ship to Honduras? It is possible. If you're really interested in having me ship to Honduras, though, you need to contact me, and we'll find out what international shipping is. And fair warning is probably going to be like, it could be like 15 bucks. So, all right, here we go. Pack number one. Pack number one, this is for Mahasvara. Good luck, Mahasvara. One, two, three, four. I just shipped your cards out. We have Rainbow Brush, Tropius, Mar Marsh Stump, Onyx, Bagon, Bellsprout, Fampy, Clamperl, Reverse Hollow, Shellgon, and Clay Doll. Look at the knitting on this. It's cool. I like that. Pack number two. Will pack number two be nice? Will pack number two be nice? Yeah, well, Kiba, that's the same um, art style from the card you bought from me. But trust me, that the card that he pulled from Celestial Storms probably not worth more than a dollar. The one you own, I don't. There weren't any for sale on eBay even. You you bought like the only one. I don't know why there's none on sale on eBay. There's just nobody selling it. And they just recopied the art for this set for some reason. Beldum, Ratata, Reverse Hollow Marsh Stomp, and. Articuno GX. Nice, dude. All right. Articuno GX. That looks nice. Pack number four. One, two, three, four. We have Tropius. Hiker. Hiker. Really? Energy Switch. Metatite. Chinchow. Gulpin. Cacnea. Torchic. Reverse Hollow Mag Cargo. <laughs> And non-hollow mag cargo. It's one of those things where I don't think the odds of that occurring is very high. One, two, three, four. We have Life Herb, Gorobis, Sableye, Beldum, Lotad, C Dot, Skitty, Ratata, Recycle Energy re Energy Recycle System, and Deoxys. Nice. Alright. So your best pull was definitely the Articuno GX. Congratulations on that. I get the rest of these. How do I contact you to check for that? You would want to contact me in private on Discord. That would be the best way. You can send me a private message telling me what you want to know, and I can look it up for you real fast. Mahasvara. Push the air out of that. Nobody's seeing my sleight of hand tricks tonight. So lucky. Getting away with it, you know? <laughs> hey, Game Economist, I send that Onyx in for grading, you think? Uh, the one from the Neo set? You definitely could. Yeah, you definitely could, actually. I, I, I think that people who collect the Neo set would be interested in having every single common and uncommon. <laughs> Got to see what the last five packs are. <clears throat> Cross your fingers, Mahasvara. Oops. Pack number two. So this is also for Mahasvara. He just bought the last five packs, everyone. Okay. Shoop. Pack number one. One, two, three, four. Swallot, Underground Expedition. Uh, that looks like Link or something at first glimpse. Minure, Beldum, Spoink, Baltoy, Wingle, Meditite, Reverse Hollow Trico, and Non Hollow Medicam. That's pack number one. Pack number two. Oh my god, Secret Rare Rayquaza. No, I'm just teasing you. <laughs> we have Loudred, Masquerain. How do you say this guy's name? How? Whalemur, Spinarak, Larvitar, Slackoth showing off his booty, Love Disc, Reverse Hollow Scythar, and Registeel. 
Pack number three. We have Combuscan. What? What is this like? This is straight up e-girl stuff right here. This is Lycia? Lycia? What the hell? Beast Ball, C Dot, Clam Pearl, Fampy, Electrike, Torchic, Reverse Hollow Bagon, and Holographic Slacking. He's gonna be like, it's slaking. Say it right. She's the contest girl for Gen 3. Oh, interesting. Okay, here we go. Shellgon, Beast Ball, Electrike, C Dot, Wingle, Spoink, Chin Chow, Reverse Hollow Larvitar, and Grumpig. Ew, dude. It looks too much like an actual pig. People don't get excited for pigs. One, two, three, four. We have Switch, Grovile, Lantern, Onyx, Sneasel, Bagon, Baltoy, Beldum, Reverse Hollow, How, and oh no, non hollow Registeel Mahasvara. Bit off a little more than he could chew. I'm sorry, man. That was not the best five packs. That's going to be a rip. It's rigged. It's rigged. Yeah, those were super cold, man. Those were super cold. I'll put them in the other way. Game Economist, do you play or do you just collect? I do play a little bit, but I do not play very competitively. I know how to play. I've played with my wife. We've watched the uh, contests. <laughs> Scammed. Somehow... Having over 200 viewers makes the chat go slower, says Oliver. All right, so we're using these little baggies because I do not know where my good bags are. I've lost them in the trash because my whole floor is a huge trash flat pile and there's just trash everywhere. So I don't know where anything is anymore. I need help. Send help. What if I could just like make a little... Could I just tape it maybe? Maybe I just tape it. And that means we are sold out of Celestial Storm. Celestial Storm is sold out. I have more Celestial Storm on the way. What do we have left? We have Unbroken Bonds. And we have Unified Minds. So these are, just like before, you get the five packs for $20 and there's $3 shipping. $23. Use Streamlabs. Do not use... Super Chat. Super Chat takes 30% of the money. Okay. You need a maid, TGC. I work for free. Just saying. That's what I keep telling my wife, but she's like, I don't know. <laughs> Actually, she doesn't say I don't know. She says, yeah. Let's go ahead and get this, right, you? She says, yeah. That sounds great. If only neither of us like to cook or clean or any of that stuff. We both work like eight-hour days. Pop this open. I mean, she works eight hour days, but it's really more like, oh, what do we got? Power nap. Unbroken bonds on our way to round 9,000. How's it going, power nap? Well, welcome back. Power naps, he's a, he's a power Pokemon. Pokemon card opener right now. Let's see, move this over here. Why do I have my remote? I don't have my remote over here. I don't need my remote. I think it's because I had some music playing on my television. Maybe I should turn that back on. Straight says, I thought you said you like to cook. I'm good at cooking. Uh, recently, I've been trying to eat a lot healthier. And when you try to eat healthy, cooking is not as exciting. <laughs> uh, I, I do like to cook. It's just because of my crazy work schedule, especially because I'm running the second channel now, which is kind of a new thing. Uh, I, I don't have as much time to cook, to be honest. Yeah, what, what normally would have been my off time is now preoccupied with opening cards, actually. Opening them, shipping them, purchasing new ones. It's a lot of energy. A lot of, a lot of, uh, a lot of time. Surprise box, Tora Cat, Charger Bug. I think I was looking at an energy card and I said energy. Silent Hit, Sand Dial, Dyramaka, Reverse Hollow Sand Slash, and Holographic Landorus. Ooh. These are four. Power Nap. Good luck, Power Nap. Power Nap has had his Power Nap, and now he's ready to Power Nap through some Pokemon cards. We have Electromagnetic Radar, Chetot, Stealthy Hood, Crabrawler, Froakie, Litten, Geodude, Grubbin, Reverse Hollow, Stealthy Hood, and Venomoth GX. Oh, Venomoth GX. He shows up too often. Kind of tired of Venomoth GX. 
What about you guys? Are you guys are tired of Venomoth GX? I'm tired of Venomoth GX. Molain, Chitot, Hitmontop, Porygon, Ryolu, Cubone, Growlithe, Rhyhorn, Poliswag, and Licky. Is it Licky Licky? The girls love them. Here we go. Next pack. This is pack number four. So far, he's got Venomoth GX. We're always looking for a full art. I think the full arts are the most valuable pulls. The GXs aren't bad. Some G GXs are actually pretty decent. Janine, Goldine, Ratata, Venonat, Tangela, Ghastly, Electromagnetic Radar, and Non-Hollow Wigglytuff. The girls love them. That's right. A non-graded card can go up to maybe $40. What? Non-graded cards can go higher than that, even. Gloom, Meowth, Sandow. Just depends on which one you're talking about. Meltan, Crabrawler, and Non-Hollow Sharpedo. Whew. Well, you did get the GX, but those were kind of cold, too. We haven't seen the best pulls tonight. I'm kind of surprised. Rigged. It's rigged. Is there any Celestial Storm left? And do you have the codes for my packs yesterday? Ah, yes. I owe you your... <laughs> I got to send those to you in a picture. Um, all the Celestial Storm is sold. Uh, we have more on the way. And I will, I will send you your codes. I just have to remember. I actually fell asleep at like 7 p.m. today. Yesterday, I mean. And I just woke up and I went right into the stream. Do not worry, Toxic. The codes aren't going anywhere. They're safe. They just kind of sit in a huge pile. Yeah, oh, Ziploc bags are so bad. I wonder if I could do this too. Not worth it. Maybe that's not worth it. This is for Power Nap. Power. Nap. Along with the trash on TGC's floor. Oh my god, have you seen the trash on my floor? You guys have not even seen this trash. You don't even know. You don't even know. Oh my god. Oh, what the hell? What the hell? Oh my god. I can't even walk, guys. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Dude! <laughs> That's right. One, two, three, four. You guys open a lot of cards. I mean, what do you think happens? What do you think happens when you open a lot of cards? Serious question. What do you think happens? Hard oof. <laughs> Disgusting. <laughs> I'm sending him right now. <laughs> All right, so here's another fact, uh, five packs of Unbroken Bonds. And we still have Unified Minds as well. With the Unified Minds cards, let me remind you guys what you're going after. Move all this real fast. With the Unified Minds, not these, these are just empty card holders. This goes up here. Ah, this is what you're after. This fancy mother fricker right here. This is the card you want. Uh, PSA 10 version of him sells for about $200, roughly. So if you if you pull him and he pulls a 10, to about $200. Not bad. Placing that over here. Oof. I got like a billion of these coins. A recycle bin. Are Pokemon cards recyclable? I don't even know. I don't even know. Is it, uh, I think it's mail time, isn't it? I think it's time for the mail. Mail time. What did we get in the mail today? Mail time. Okay. And let's see. <laughs> Here it is. We got Wick. Oh my God. Thick Wick. The current mascot of my channel. The best trainer card out there. How's it going, Trey? Hi, Trey. I'm Game Economist. 
Oh, I thought you were a different tray. Okay, no problem. <laughs> I was like, wait, is he telling me this for a particular reason? Thick wick. When I realized how thick she was, I was like, I need to have some of this. I was like, I do not have enough thick wicks in my life. And I told myself I could have more. Don't tell my wife. She wouldn't understand. Does your wife know about this? She does, and she totally approves. Full on hall pass, man. She's like, you know, my wife knows. Let's see, let's go ahead and grab, oof. Do I really, I'm not gonna store these in these. What am I talking about? I'm gonna take all these out. Are you selling any of those? Uh, I could, I was gonna send them off for grading. Cause the thick wicks, by the way, there aren't a lot of them available for sale online, which means that the people who do own them don't want to sell theirs. Thick wick. All right, here we go. Whew. Beautiful. Let's take a look at the back of the cards. So this one has the cutting error. Okay, so that one's going to be for sale as a raw card. These two do not actually. And I can see there's white on these corners here and here, and there's white on these corners here and here. So at best, these are going to be nines. Uh, and I don't even think this one is worth grading because of the cutting error. So if you guys are interested in having a, a thick wick, let me know. Uh, I have to look up how much I paid for her, and then I'll just charge you that. And I'll add these two to my grade pile. Because I'll take nines on the wicks, so I don't mind. How much for the cutting error one? Yeah, so let me just see how much... I don't know how much I paid for her. Let me just look that up real fast. Scooby-Doo, I got some messages on eBay. I don't want to read those right now. <laughs> Go to my purchase history. It's going to be like, you bought everything. Why'd you buy so much? Oh, I got to scroll back. Uh, I do not. Oh, it should say shipped, shouldn't it? It should say shipped. Here it is. And how much was I paying per card? It shows how much I paid for the three of them. Ooh, it's kind of pricey. So it's about $17. This is about $17. As I was saying, I kind of, believe it or not, I kind of popped onto the internet and bought them all, is what I did. Do you watch Guinness World Records? In fact, I do not. But I have seen them before on like comedy channels who are making fun of Guinness World Records. They'll be like, can you believe it? I just shipped that one off. That one's going to Ganondorf. Man, yeah, that's an awesome wick. Should I do the uh, drawing on her? Didn't we have like an awesome drawing on her the one time? I have the longest tongue in history. Oh, cool. That's pretty cool. Thick wick. Now, was it this marker I used? I think it was this marker I used. And the first drawing I did, we, we gave her giant anime titties. Draw it on my wick. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right. Let's, let's open up some cards. We're not just here to Oogle at them boobies. I want to know how long is your tongue. Uh, whatever the size of your tongue is, mine is exactly one inch longer than that. All right, let's see. We have Hidden Fates. These are mine, actually. I believe this is my last tin. I could be wrong about that, but I think it's my last tin. Trey wants to see my tongue. Uh, I don't think there's a very good chance of that, Trey. Pack number one, pack number two, pack number three. You really did blue. Yes, I did. Well, I was opening a few per stream. I was opening a few on TikTok. I was opening some Pokemon cards on TikTok. Here we go, guys. This is it. Charizard? Probably not, because my luck has not included a Charizard. No Charizard for me. Oops. Brock's Grit, Voltorb, Geodude, 
Eevee, Clefairy, Caterpie, Misty's Water Command, and Non Hollow Eevee. I'm sorry, Non Hollow Mew. It's falling down. Stay up! So we're restarting our piles now, the ones that we used to have. Watch, he's going to get a Charizard. Nah, it won't happen. This goes here. One, two, three, four. Every time I open a pack, the pack gets thrown on the floor along with an energy card. Think about that, guys. Caterpie, Char Charmander, Clefairy, Reverse Hollow Weezing, and Moltres Aptos Articuno. That's an okay card. Everyone's like, he's going to pull a Charizard. Oh, little do you know how stingy the Pokemon card packs are. They like to tease. Koba Trap, Clefairy, these other cards. They're all men, they're not as exciting as women. Reverse Hollow Electric and Non Hollow Golem. Put this in my Reverse Hollow Electric pile. Okay, cards. Yeah, so far we've gotten nothing, by the way. The GX card we got is uh, not valuable. I mean, it's like $2 maybe. Nice, Gullisapod GX. So there's our full art, Swit. And he is one of the least valuable full arts. Stinky poo poo, guys. Oh, Gullisapod. It's like pulling a common when you pull a Gullisapod. The first time you pull him, you think to yourself, wow, that's amazing. But later on, you realize when you do a little research, he's not really worth anything. He's not really worth anything. He's like, you know, maybe five bucks, four bucks. Gullisapod looking beautiful. Yeah, but so does Charizard. Not seeing any Charizard. You guys decide if you would like to open up any more Unbroken Bonds or any more Unified Minds. I'm going to go see if I have any other tins. I'll be right back. I'll be right back. If I can even move out of my chair. What the? the frick? What is all this crap? Okay. back <laughs> so I have the actual last 10 put this on my car here we go we have the actual last 10 with us now guys come on now let's see what we get in the very last 10 God, every time I touch the table, the camera vibrates. I need a different camera tripod, but I don't know how it would work. Yeah, a trash compactor would probably help. Oh man, we're almost out of these too, guys. One thing I never mention is that you guys get these penny sleeves for free whenever I open your stuff, and eventually I do run out and I have to order more. All part of the cost of selling these packs to you, actually. All right, here we go. Pack number one. I need it. Pack number two. Pack number three. And pack number four. These, This is the very last tin, everyone. It's my last chance for a Charizard from the tins. camera's kind of wobbly. It is. The camera is kind of wobbly. That's because the camera rests on the table on a little mini tripod, but every time I move my arms, the table vibrates and so does the camera. And I move my arms the entire time. All right. This is a non-hollow. So far, not so good on these poles. Let's see. 
Oh man, we're down to the last few of these holders. I'm sending you a new tripod. <laughs> How's it going, Tom Miller? Mezzi is into weird girls, huh? Mezzi, why are you into weird girls? Magmar, Scyther, Slowpoke. Don't you know you can only be into normal girls? Voltura, Cubone. Sabrina, Suggestion, and Butterfree. Wow, these are strong. Whoa! <laughs> Camera was getting pulled over there. Oh, no. Are we better? We're back? We're back. Next pack. Whoops. One, two, three, four. Sug suggestive, Sabrina. A fairy, Eevee, Ekans, Paris, Caterpie. Nice. We got a card I've never pulled, actually. Uh, Fisherman. He looks kind of like another boomer, to be honest, actually. Ah, damn it. <laughs> this guy looks kind of like a creepy uncle, to tell you the truth. Yeah, that's a creepy uncle. I don't know about that. Last pack, everyone. What are we going to get? One, two, three, four. Ah, these last few tins have been garbage. Brock, Graveler, Farfetch, Geodude, Eevee, Jigglypuff, Coughing, Staryu, Tapu Lele. Wow, I just called them garbage and pulled a Tapu Lele. I'm garbage. I'm telling you guys, one pack changes everything. Tapu Lele is one of the best pulls you can get from the set. Damn. It all changed at the last second. Holy. Not a Charizard, but that's okay. How much for Fisher? Uh, he will probably be graded. He will probably be graded. Woo! All right, that's a good pull. This is probably the best pull tonight, actually. This one right here. Tapu Lele. I can look up the cost of Tapu Lele if you guys want. I'll use TGC price guide. I think that's a fast way to look up prices. It's not always accurate, but it's pretty fast. It's not always accurate. Oop, nope, that's not what I want. Where is it? All right. This would have been from Hidden Fates. Tapu Lele is the fourth most valuable card in the set. Coming right under Umbreon. And it's a $25 card for raw. So when you grade it, it's worth a lot more when you grade it. Let's see what Tapu Lele is graded. Tapu Lele, Hidden Fates, PSA... Uh, let's see. There's one right now. It's a PSA 9 for $60. Oh, with $20 shipping, so actually $80. I don't think there's any for sale. There's a Japanese one for $60. The Japanese cards are never as cheap as... They're, it's never as expensive. Here it is. So a PSA 10, a PSA 10 Tapu Lele recently sold for... Marked down from $90. I don't know what it technically sold for. Here's a PSA 10 that sold for $80. Here's a PSA 10 that sold buy it now for $200. Jesus Christ. And here's one that went for $108. So if I grade it and, and eventually it returns in like three months, hopefully its value is sitting around 60 bucks. That's what I'm hoping for. That's what I'm hoping for. Not a bad pull tonight. Whew. That's what we're looking for, guys. Trey says, what's your favorite color? Uh, red and black. Trey, what's your favorite color? People ask questions like, what's your favorite color? Because they're about to tell you what their favorite color is. God, I wish I knew where those PSA... Well, well, I'll order more or something. It won't matter. Whew. All right, guys. Well, uh, let's see. The stream's at an hour and 30 minutes. We're getting closer to wrapping up. We still do have some Unbroken Bonds and Unified Minds, if anyone's interested in them. Nobody's pulled Unified Minds in a while. Maybe I should open a Unified Minds. Lag Spike. That's not what I want to hear. 
These are my last holders. These are from the Shining Legends. What is your favorite generation of Pokemon? That's hard to say. Whichever generation is the uh, best, I don't know. How do you answer a question like that? Yeah, Gen 1's pretty iconic. How do you beat Gen 1? So let's see. Gen 1's super iconic. Here's some more Unified Minds. Let me open up a Unified Minds for myself. You guys are a little scared to go after the Unified Minds yourselves. I ain't scared. You guys might be scared, but I ain't scared. Damn! Both Unified Minds and Unbroken Bonds. It'll stop after this one. He said, it'll stop after this one. All right, so this is going to be for Power Nap. Good luck, Power Nap. You got these 10 booster packs. Let's see how we go. Pack number one. We'll start with the Unbroken Bonds. Pack number two. Pack number three. Pack number four. And pack number five. Tell you what, we'll also get the tops of these other ones cut open. See you later, the chin. Oh, he said, nice chatting with you yesterday. I thought you were saying goodbye. <laughs> yeah, for sure, man. Yeah, I haven't chatted on Discord in a while because uh, my speakers are broken. <coughs> oh. One moment. <laughs> Do I have to sneeze again? I think I'm good. Am I good? I might have to sneeze again. Okay, I think I'm good. <laughs> Some sneezes, man. Some G's Louises. All right. Good luck on your pulls. Oops. Thick wick. Move Thickwick back here. Thickwick needs a, a, a sexy masquerade ma mask now, right? Didn't we do this last time? All right, so she's got her masquerade mask on. She's at one of those parties, you know what I mean? One of those hot masquerade parties. <laughs> Batman, Robin, and Wick. Pack number one, are you ready? One, two, three, four. Arduino, Yanmega, Jinx, Cubone, Dredagon, Shroomish. Drifloon, Dupider, Reverse Hollow, Delmise, and Meloetta. Pack number two. One, two, three, four. We have Heracross, Type Knoll, Steny, Fletchender, Stunfisk, Onyx, Finian, Alolan, Grimer, Reverse Hollow, Axew, and Driftblim. Two cold packs in a row. Let's see what pack number three is going to be. Come on, pack number three. Don't hold out on us. Misty's favor. Woof. I'm getting all sweaty over here. She's like, will you do this for me? And I said, I'm not going to do anything for you. Gibble. Nice. You got a secret rare. This is Recycle Energy. You can see by the number down there that it is a secret rare. See how it says 257 out of 236? So they call that a secret rare. This is a textured card. Is a very good pull. Nice job, man. Whew. 
not all is lost. <laughs> I think you got some pretty cold packs on one of your earlier pulls tonight, but it has been made up for with your recycle energy. It's not the uh, Mewtwo and Mew. That's okay. Mewtwo and Mew's in there somewhere hiding. Finian, Stunfisk, Shroomish, and Luscious. Now use that card on your room. <laughs> We're going to recycle. One, two, three, four. What do we got next? How do we know? Thunderous, Recycle Energy, Joltik, oops, Dratini, Young Goose, Yanma, oops, <laughs> we're skipping to the end. Holographic Giratina, ooh, I like the Alone Grimer, by the way, he's a cool card. Oh, we're moving on to the Unbroken Bonds, all right, so we're on Unbroken Bonds now. Layer on Welder, who's a girl by the way, Crabrawler, Froakie, Litten, Geodude, Grubbin, Reverse Hollow Bell Sprout, and Incineroar. That's pack number one. Let's see what we get in pack number two. Pack number two. Happini, Stealth Hood, Tentacruel, Gligar, Ghastly, Grubbin, Pikachu, Drowsy, Reverse Hollow Surprise Box, and Holographic Porygon Z. Pack number three. Come on, Unbroken Bonds. Don't do this to me, man. Don't do it. We got Golbat, Dust Island, Hapini, Salandet, Sandal, Darumaka, Goldeen, Ratata. I was about 11 or 12 when I was at Babbage Games, and they had Jungle Booster First Edition boxes. Begged and begged my mother to buy me a whole box. She got me two boosters at least. Oh, nice, dude. <gasps> Damn, good pulls tonight for Power Nap. He got Recycle Energy and Greens Exploration. Congratulations, man. Two full arts. Very good. That's about as best as you can do, to be honest. That's two for two, man. War Turtle, Greens Exploration, Laron. She was hiding right behind that last card. You never know. Tentacruel and Holographic Togekiss. Finally, what do we have? I Want a Mango says, how's this work? Mango, the way it works is I open up Pokemon cards, and you can too, if you want to. Uh, you can buy them live, and then I ship them to you. But if you buy them, you won't, you'll want to use the Streamlabs link. Oops, I'm sorry. Also busy talking Dugtrio and Rhyperior. If you do buy them live, you'll want to use the Streamlabs link in the description of the video. And then you just contact me and tell me where you want them shipped. And I ship them out. Very good, man. Let's get another sexy Ziploc bag. I know how you guys feel about the Ziploc bags. They're your favorite. I love the Ziploc bags. I know you do. We're only using Ziploc because I don't know where my usual holders are. I lost them. They're in here somewhere. I know I, I set them to the side somewhere. I just don't know where. Now you're going to have Pokemon cards for lunch. So he got both Greens Exploration and Recycle Energy. Those are some great pulls. And this is for Power Nap. He just woke up from his Power Nap and he's like, I want some good Pokemon. There we go, Power Nap. I wouldn't be surprised if I got worse pulls than Wellix when I start buying. <laughs> what are you talking about? Wellix got good pulls. You must have missed it. Wellix started getting really good pulls at the end. He, uh, you know, for a lot of people, when you get bad pulls, it's just a matter of time, honestly. If you actually keep buying cards, eventually you get good pulls. It's, you know, it's a volume issue, you know what I mean? If you only open, like, three packs, yeah, you're going to get bad pulls, probably. Okay, let's get this stack attack out. Another piece of trash. Excuse me.
Oh man, where does all this come from? So we, we do still have more packs if anyone's interested in participating in the stream. We got five fresh unbroken bonds booster packs and we have, let me pull five of these as well. That's four. We have five pack of fresh unified mines. If you're interested in those. Wife sees, actually my wife saw her last time, thought it was hilarious. I showed her, I was like, check this. <laughs> she was very proud. She was like, good drawing. All right. No idea you were into Pokemon game comics. Thought you only liked Monster Hunter, Bloodborne. Yeah, I like Pokemon cards too. They're, they're a lot of fun. It's good that your wife is okay with it. I'll take bonds, take bonds, but don't tell, my, don't wallet. tell my wallet. Oh no, Wellix. Wellix, do we need to send you to a gambling rehab? <laughs> learn when to say no, stop, or, or learn when to stop gambling, or whatever, right? <laughs> when people start commenting on the their wallet, but then they buy more cards. <laughs> He's like, I get paid next week. I've got money. All right, here we go. And he, he wanted that for Unbroken Bonds. All right, good luck. These are for Wellix Kiba. What will his pulls be? One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Get rid of those. And his pulls are pack number one. One, two, three, four. Tentacruel, Golbat, Dust Island, Squirtle, Oddish, Crawler, Froki, Litten, Reverse Hollow, Polywool. Look, it's my icon. It's my, uh, and Blacephalon, non hollow. God damn, freaking mother. Pack number two. Do do do, scuba do ba do. See, I'm adding some background music for you. Fairy Charm, Martial Arts Dojo, Clefairy, Litten, Carvana, Ekans, Cotney, Reverse Hollow Drowsy, and Holographic Porygon Z. Pack number three. Play Minecraft music. You guys want some Minecraft music? I'll turn on some Minecraft music. We have Dodrio, Gloom, Poliwhirl again. Wow, he keeps showing up. Glam Meow, Mischievous, Gligar. Seal, Reverse Hollow Porygon, and Non Hollow Dugong. Ooh. Ooh, he's stealing. Did you guys ever watch that TikTok? He's stealing. One, two, three, four. Flip that around. Power Plant, Koga's Trap, Togetic, Poliwag. Oops, my bad. Diglett, Bellsprout, Jigglypuff, Zubat. Ooh, nice. Reverse Hollow Volcanion and Butterfree. I sold this for five bucks in the past, the Volcanion, believe it or not, which is better than some GXs, and that's because Volcanion gets used in the competitive decks. We have Mullane, Pokagear, Tentacruel, Alone and Diglett, Coughing, Salandit, Sandile, Darumaka, Polyrath, and Aromatisse. Damn it! Oh man, Wellix. Wellix, you should have just stopped when you were ahead, Wellix. All right, let's give Wellix the bonus pack. You're getting a bonus pack, Wellix. Cross your fingers. He got only cold cards, and now he gets a bonus pack. Bonus pack! I just want you to know, if this was a good card, this bonus pack was supposed to be for me. I want you to know that. So this would have been my bonus pack, but now it's yours. So if it's a good card, I'm going to kick myself in the ass. Oh, and it's Porygon and Porygon Z. Nope, I don't feel bad at all. <laughs> all right. Let's get these in a Ziploc. Oh, Wellix. Oh, Wellix. That's an F. That is right, Randy CL. He did not get even a GX in that set. Sometimes you lose. Sometimes you pull Sizer full art. You did in the last, uh, in the Celestial Storms. You, you got some decent pull in the uh, Celestial Storms. You're making Toxic a little jealous. Wellix is like, I'm out of control. <laughs> He's going to be like, I'm going to pull out a reverse mortgage and buy some Pokemon cards. 
I'm going to have to quit buying cards now. I, I do try to pace myself. I don't know about you guys. Um, one thing you don't want to do is buy on impulse necessarily. I mean, you can buy on impulse, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't go past a certain point. You know what I mean? All right, well, it's... It's going to stay. It's gonna, nope, it's going to fall. All right. All right. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. And now these next five packs clearly have two full arts in them because Wellix didn't pull anything. That's how it works, guys. <laughs> we have Unbroken Bonds and we have Unified Minds. The Unified Minds are a little weird. They're, they don't come directly from a booster box. They come from uh, blister packs that I'm disassembling right now, actually, right in front of you. Whew. Damn, Wellix. <laughs> fans like just one more don't do it don't listen to him it's a trap I'm trying to trap you Ryu Shinobi donate using Streamlabs is that the same guy from yesterday that's not the same guy from yesterday is it got unified minds the most valuable card I had was shiny luscious shiny luscious Move this over here. <laughs> you like the black dots on Wick? That's all they are. They're just black dots. Oh, and my phone is at 20%. That means we're nearing the end of the live stream. One, two, three, four, five. All right, move this back over here. Is that really five? How's it going, Cursed One? He says, weird, uh, but okay. Also, hello, my first Pokemon stream. How's it going, man? Yeah, you know, uh, I thought it was kind of a strange idea, too, having the cards opened on a live stream. But it's also kind of fun because everyone sees your pulls. So I think that's kind of, it sort of immor immortalizes your pulls in a way, right? Like, uh, you can always go back to it and remember what you pulled. I think that's a big part of it. And, uh, yeah, I th actually, I think it's a lot of fun. And then, of course, I ship the cards off to you, so it's like getting a, a, a Christmas present in the mail, right? <laughs> so I have a, another box to open, actually. Oof. I've been waiting to open this one. Oh, what do we have here? I did not know this arrived. Really? What? I thought this was gonna be something else. All right, you ready? You ready? You ready? You ready? Shining Legends Premium Powers Collection. What? Shining Lugia, Pikachu, Ho -Oh GX, some packs, a giant card. So let's get this broken into. Probably should have done this on the Pokemon card channel, but you know, we got a nice audience tonight. We got like 230 people. Let's just go for it. Let's just go for it. Who cares? Oh, God. I'm sorry, you guys can't see this. It won't fit on the desk. desk. That's the reason why. It's won't open. There it goes. They do pack these tightly. Just like packing fudge. When you pack fudge, it's always better if it's a tight fit. Okay. Got to get these cards out of the plastic. I'll send you five grams of 24 karat gold for one box. Hmm. That is a uh, I mean, if it was, if it was something I understood how to trade better, I would actually accept gold as payment, believe it or not. I would actually accept gold. That sounds very interesting. So here's a Shining Celebi. Let's take a quick look at the card. So it has a slight warp to it already, uh, but it looks very clean. I don't see any white on the edges. It's kind of square cutting on the edges, though. I wonder if that affects the grading at all. Shining Celebi. 
All right, there we go. This will probably be sent off for grading. How do you come? They do not make these easy to remove. It's uh, kind of kind of annoying how hard these are to remove without bending them. Oh man, I'm gonna use my scissors to make a cut here. This is kind of ridiculous. Like, how are you supposed to remove the card without bending it? All right, so check this out. See, there's like these two holders, and if you can spread this apart, the card will come out with no trouble. There we go. But you can't actually, you can't normally here we are. Here we are. Let's see. Uh, it, you know, it, it has a bit of a lip all around from the cutting. I think I'll still send this off to be graded. I think it has a chance to pull a 10. It's a lovely card. Now, will the same strategy work here? It just won't. God, that's so annoying. That's really annoying, man. I want my cards without bending the card. All right, get rid of that. Sorry for all the camera shaking. So here it is, and we don't want to bend this card. Do you do trading? Yeah, I'll trade cards. It's got to be a good trade, though, because it's got to be worth my time. I'm a busy man. What can I say? If I really wanted a card, I'd just go buy it, obviously. You know, I'm taking a look at this card, and sadly, it, it does have some uh, edge damage. I can already see it. It's got some whitening on the edges. How are you supposed to get this damn card out? How did I get the first one out? There it goes. So the card has a natural warp to it already. And you can see it's got a little whitening there and a little whitening on the... So both the upper corners have a little bit of whitening to them, unfortunately. I could still have this graded. I would only expect it to pull about a 9. It's a pretty card, Shining Lugia. Yeah, it's a pretty card. That's sad. And the last card. Oh my god, did that just happened. Did it just pop out? That's really troubling. Super warped. Look how warped this card is. This card has a heavy warp to it. <sighs> so sad. Because you're losing you're losing the value of the card. Look, that's how warped it is. See that? Gold will never be useless. How does people defend themselves from the drones? No gold, no emo bond. Well, I mean, the US dollar I feel is pretty a pretty safe investment, but yeah, I mean, like I said, I'll still take gold. If you're selling gold, I'll take it. How rare is this Pikachu, you know? Oh, uh, whatever. I'll put him in here. <laughs> Paper is a trick. Well, gold is a trick too. I hate it when people when people act like gold's definitely better than paper, I feel like, well, yeah, as long as people are willing to trade for it. But uh, that's the same way paper works. So as long as people actually think that gold has value, you see what I'm saying? If you think about it, gold's just a shiny piece of, just a shiny piece of metal. That's all it is. And everyone decided, yeah, we'll trade with gold. Why not? That's all that happened. I mean, that's not a lot different from how a currency, like a, a dollar bill currency works. Not at all that much different. Quite similar, in fact. Okay, now for the best part. We're getting these packed up. There's a special code card for Shining Legends. Gold is just a hunk of rock that is shiny. That is actually very correct. That is exactly what it is. 
Look at this. Now this is fancy. No, it, it's got a curve down here though. It really, it does. It's so sad. Full art ho. Place that up here. <sighs> to be honest, I what's your phone percentage at? Probably like 15. I'm going to contact guy who I, I got the cards were actually warped. I'm going to let him know the cards are warped. What was his name? Well, I'll know what his name is. eBay will tell me. That That's so disappointing. Wow. The cards inside were warped. It might not even be his fault, but I, I would not have purchased it if I knew that the cards inside were warped. I would not have purchased it. Three of the cards, the Lugia was warped, the Pikachu was badly warped, and the Ho-Oh large card was warped as well. All right, and so for this Shining Legends, also we get this... Uh, whatever this is called, a um, poster. We get this poster. I, I never keep the posters. You guys are welcome to purchase posters off of me. I've got posters. I've got play mats for Hidden Fates. I've got uh, Hidden Fates posters as well, wherever they are. <laughs> so if you want the poster or the play mats or any of that stuff, let me know. I probably won't sell it for very much, to tell you the truth. They'll probably be pretty, pretty cheap. So check this out, guys. We have Shining Legends boosters. Ooh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have eight of these. I'm trying to remember what the best pull from the Shining Legends is. Is it this Mewtwo? Let's see if it's this Mewtwo. Let me show you. I'm sure I have one nearby. Here it is. It might be this Mewtwo. This might be the best pull. You can see he's in a test tube, and this card goes for about, uh, I don't remember, like 100-something. Yeah, I can't remember. It was like 120. So let me just see. I don't remember what I was going to sell them at. I think I was going to sell them at $5 per piece. I don't even remember what I paid for them, to tell you the truth. I just remember they're more expensive. You can't buy a booster box of Shining Legends. It doesn't, doesn't work that way. You have to buy, like, these weird sets all the time. And the sets are always ridiculous in price. Let's jump over here. I'm just looking it up real fast. Here it is. Dude, that's crazy expensive. How many did I get from these? I better have gotten a lot of these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. What? Oh, I way overpaid for that. Oh, no, I didn't. No, I didn't. I bought two of them. Oh, I didn't overpay. <laughs> oh, I did that wrong. Doing some math here. Yikes. They're still kind of expensive, guys. Yeah. Jesus. It's because they're, like, out of print, basically, right? Are, are they out of print? Let me see if Shining Legends are out of print. I think Shining Legends are out of print. I'm pretty sure they are. And let's see, let's see what the most expensive Shining Legends card is. Oh, actually, it's going to be a secret rare Mewtwo, I believe. So there's the secret rare Mewtwo alternative art, and then there's the actual secret rare Mewtwo. So both the test tube Mewtwo and the secret rare Mewtwo are both really good. Well, you can get a really nice Raichu from this set, too. Huh. Actually, let's go to... Um, here, I can just look it up here. So where is Shining Legends? Base set, Burning Shadows, here it is, Shining Legends. So Shining Legends is in fact one of the older sets from Sun and Moon. And the best card you get from it is Mewtwo GX Secret. After that is Mewtwo GX Secret Shining. Uh, and this one's the one in the test tube. Uh, and then after that it goes Raichu, Entei, and Zoroark. There's also a nice Shining Mew. There's a nice Mewtwo GX and a nice Shining Rayquaza. So a lot of the cards in this set are very collectible. 
Let's see. I will do a special thing for you guys tonight. I'm going to do this tomorrow night. If anyone is interested in these, I will sell the whole set of them for, uh, let's say, 50 bucks. If you want all of these right here, 50 bucks. And there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm not going to do this again. Uh, the next time I get Shining Legends, they're going to go into, they're going to go into sets where I divide them up. You know what I mean? The, the mixed sets, right? So it's going to be like one Shining Legends, one Unbroken Bonds, one Unified Minds. See, it's going to go like that in the future. But if anyone's interested in having all of these booster packs right now, I'll sell them for fifty bucks. Game Economist to Sam. See my latest comment. I just made my payment. Oh, Sam, shoot. I'm sorry, I was so busy doing research, I did not even see your comment. Uh, the way comments work when I'm live streaming from a phone, they don't stay on the, I, I don't have like a constant uh, li live stream chat room to look at. Instead, they pop up for like a second and then they disappear. Sam Shoot. All right, guys, we are ready to open up a pack for Sam Shoot, that means. Uh, he bought Vaporeon. Wait, was it Vaporeon? I'm trying to remember what it was. Message from Sam. Flareon and Vaporeon from the Rocket Set, as well as a Heavy Jungle Pack. Nice. So I'll leave you guys wondering if you want to open up this. The live stream's almost over, so you'll have to make a decision on that soon enough. Uh, if no one buys it, that's fine too. I will just I will just divide these up into my custom packs in the future, probably. If no one's interested in buying that. 50 bucks is kind of a lot, you know what I mean? this into a sleeve it should have been in a sleeve can we see some of your other graded cards i have quite a few of them and i show them off all the time but we're running out of time tonight so here we go go sam shoot this is going to be your heavy jungle pack if it's not heavy i'll open another one for you here we go guys this is a really cool moment uh this is a 20 year old booster pack 20 years old there's very few of these left in the world they're very expensive Whoop. <laughs> okay, and, and Rand Misiel just bought these over here. So we'll open these right afterwards. So this is for Sam. Good luck, Sam. Sam's trying to pull a Flareon or a Snorlax from the jungle set. There it is. It's open. That means there's one fewer of these in the world, and they're, they're even more expensive. That's how it works. They're even more expensive. I'm trying to remember exactly how these go. I believe it's third from the back. Two, three. So this should be the hot, the rare hollow. Place that there. That should be your hollow card. All right. So for the commons and uncommons, you got Parasect, Lickitung, Seeking, Jigglypuff, Pears, Execute, Eevee. That's a nice card. Venonat, Cubone and Oddish. Those are going to be your commons and your uncommons. And that means we did correctly put the rare card there. Slide that in there. What did he get, guys? Holographic Pinsir. Pinsir reveals himself again tonight. However, guys, this is a good Pinsir to own. It's not like Pinsir GX from the uh, sets we were looking at. This Pinsir is quite valuable because he's an old vintage Pinsir. <laughs> Arya and MR are already like, ew. No, no, no. Don't go ear with this one. This one's actually valuable, guys. This is a valuable pincer to own. <laughs> the Hidden Fates GX pincer is not valuable. This vin this is a vintage pincer. <laughs> it was like shred. <laughs> Sam says, I actually like pincer. Yeah, pincer, um, you know, back in the base game, he was kind of crazy, wasn't it? He had, did he have guillotine? I can't remember his moveset. He was a cool bug Pokemon to own. I love how you guys are like, Shred. <laughs> All right, Sam. Sam, we were talking about having you buy that earlier, so I actually still have your Valplume here. And to be honest, this Valplume and the Pinsir should probably be in top loaders. Let's get this in a top loader. Top loader one, top loader two. These are very, very collectible cards. These are vintage jungle. 
and kind of see my face in that reflection. So I need to get you that va uh, Dark Vaporeon and Flareon. Is th that was the two? I believe those were the two. And I'm trying to think where I can pull those from. Sam, I'll look up the Vaporeon and Flareon a little bit later. I'm not going to do that in the middle of the live stream just because it'll take me a minute to find them. What we're going to do next... Oh, by the way, let's keep this out for Sam. What we're going to do next, go ahead and open up the Shining Legends for Rand Misiel. Cross your fingers for him. He may actually get a very good pull. He's opening all of them right now. This was 50 bucks for him. Let's do it. One, two. In the future, they will not be this cheap, but I sold them all in one go for a much cheaper price. Out of the kindness of my heart, as a special gift for me to you, Rand Misiel. I'm pretty sure I lost money when I sold you these for 50. Which I'm not supposed to do that because... Whoop. I'm not supposed to lose money. The reason why I'm pretty sure I lost money is because I sold you them roughly at the same price I bought them at. And then the PayPal transaction should actually take some of that money. The PayPal transaction costs money. Can you believe it? PayPal's like, we'll take some of that money. So you have Feraligator, Ultra Ball, Pokemon Breeder, Bulbasaur, Totodile... Pikachu, Voltorb, Ekans, Reverse Hollow Ekans, and Holographic Marshadow for pack number one. Pack number two, Shining Legends. Shining Legends, everyone. One, two, three, four. I wonder if I can download and upload this live stream to my other channel. Hi, how? Scrafty, Ivazur, Torkoal, Bulbasaur, Pikachu, Buzel. Warp Energy and Holographic Verizian. That's pack number two. Pack number three. What will we pull from pack number three? One, two, three, four. That's right, 205 taxes. It's going to say, so you sold a product. Here, let us take some of that. Pikachu, Bulbasaur, Torkoal, Ivysaur, Reverse Hollow Psychic, and Marshadow. Whew. Tough pulls on the first few packs. But that just means that the hot packs are at the end. Oh, we're at 10% battery. That means if anyone else wants to buy cards, this is your last chance to do so. Floatzel, Electrode, Scraggy, Croconaw, Jinx, Plusle, Cat, Reverse Hollow Cat, and I see a GX. Entei GX is going to be your first pull that is actually pretty decent. Oops, come on now. All right, so here's Entei. That's Shining Legends Entei GX. One, two, three, four. Flip this around. Volcarona, Lightbard, Ultra Ball, Breloom, Torcat, Ekin, Soups, Pikachu, Jinx, Reverse Hollow Scraggy, and Holographic Palkia. You have three packs left. One pull from one of these packs can change everything. Let's see where it takes us. One, two, three, four. Car Carnivine? Carnivine, Arbok, Venus Venusaur, Croconaw, Scraggy, Larvesta, Golette, Zorua, Voltorb, and Holographic Marshadow again. Whew. Man, Pokemon cards are tough, man. You know, when somebody pulls a full art, it really is more of a bigger deal than you guys realize because it, it's hard to pull a full art. It really is. Full arts take a while. They do not just suddenly show up. Holographic Hoopa. All right. This is actually your last pack. Let's see where it goes. This might be the pack, though. One, two, three, four. Electrode, Spiritomb, Damage Mover, Purloin, Litten, Voltorb, Breloom, Ekans, Reverse Hollow, Ekans, and Holographic Zekrom. Dude, those are some tough pulls tonight. Oh my god. So sorry about that, Rand Misiel. I really thought there would be at least one full art in the box, but it shows you. Can I get some Fs? <laughs> oh man, yeah, those are some rough pulls. I would have expected out of all of those booster packs to have maybe at least one full art, but actually there was just the one GX. Holy cow, man. Let's get them all locked and loaded. Better luck next time. <laughs> that is definitely a you win some, you lose some moment. <laughs> I 
I'm tempted to open one of these myself. It was kind of fun looking. Screams to the heavens, says Munzee. <laughs> Bang. Better luck next time on those pulls, Rand. Rand, usually you do have a lot of luck. <laughs> Got a little air trapped in the bag. See, you think that the jungle packs are uh, super expensive, but Sam actually got a pull. Sam gets a guaranteed hollow out of his heavy pack. That's a very collectible vintage card, freshly pulled. Gradable, to be honest. I don't know if you're interested in that, Sam. Uh, but it's something I would think about. All right, I got to remember. You know what? I'm going to actually write on this pack. I'm going to write some instructions. Add... Vaporeon and Flareon. So I don't forget. If I see that on the pack, I will make sure it's in the pack. All right. Whew. What a night. What a night. I should really be in bed right now, says Munzee. Munzee, what are you talking about? You should be right here. All right, guys. Well, we're near the... Oh, snap. What does it sound like when the voice says read? It says, it sounds like this, read. Sam says, do they look good enough to grade a 10? I would I would say probably closer to nine, just from the brief moment I looked at them. Uh, I might have seen some white on the edges, um, but even a nine sometimes is worth it. It just depends. You have to do a little bit of research on it to find out. 6.41 a.m. Is it past, is it still past my bedtime if my alarm is still going off? That's right. <laughs> All right, guys, you want to see all the cards we opened tonight? Look at all these cards. Well, you can't see it that well. And actually, I opened some, I opened some cards as well. You can't see them. They're not placed in the stack with everyone else's. I opened what? Tapu Lele, Fisherman, Golisopod, Moltres, Zapdos. I got these Wicks in the mail. We got Lucario, Melmetal, Greninja, Zoroark. So I opened up a few cards as well. We got our mascot, our mascot of the channel, Wick, looking fine uh yeah i think we're about done so i don't normally do this from the main channel and i won't be doing this from the main channel i'll be doing this from my pokemon card channel if you guys had fun tonight check out the description i have a link to my other channel go over there and hit the subscribe button for me and as usual i'll be doing this probably usually on a nightly basis not every night but usually it's a nightly basis uh we'll be op we'll be playing iceborne on the pc very soon it comes out on the 9th, and so that's like a day away, basically. And I just didn't have anything to do tonight. I didn't feel like playing on the console, so I was like, why don't we do a Pokemon stream on the main channel for fun? So, yep, off to bed for all you guys. If you're in the U.S., uh, for me, it's time to go back to work. <laughs> all right, I want to thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.